G'day mates, hope you all had a lovely Christmas with your friends and family. I was around at the old man's place for Christmas lunch, pork crackle, apple sauce, prawns, all the good stuff. Anyway, the old man, he's a little bit clogged up in the old nose, so he grabs Old Faithful, the Ultravan nasal spray, jams it right up his nose halfway to heaven, finger on the other side, big old sniff, and then does the mother of all sneezes just to scare the living bejeebus out of the grandkids. I look across at him, across the table, I said, what the bloody hell are you doing, mate? It's not a line of Charlie, all right, it's a nasal spray. Come over here and I'll show you how to do it properly. This Otrovan spray works absolute wonders, especially for CPAP users, for everyone with a blocked nose. But if you're using a CPAP machine, it's really hard to use just in general, but when you're all blocked up, stuffy in the nose there, it makes it very difficult because obviously you've got that pressure coming in the mask and you're trying to exhale against that pressure. And when you can't breathe through your nose, it's not much fun. So this stuff here works in like under a minute and it's long lasting as well. It will normally last a whole night in one little spray. So it's really simple, just one spray in each nostril, one to two times a day, eight hours apart. But the important point is you don't wanna use it for more than 10 consecutive days. It's short term use, this stuff. If you use it longer than 10 days, your nose is gonna become a drug addict. Put it that way, all right? It'll become dependent on this stuff and it won't work nearly as well. And you'll find as soon as you stop using it, what happens? Your nose will just become congested straight again and then you'll reach for the Otrovan, whack it up there again, you'll get a little bit of relief and then once again, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So no longer than 10 consecutive days for the Otrovan, all right? But for those periods of the year, just where you've got like a cold, and you know, you just can't breathe through your nose, boom, boom, done. But I'm gonna show you how to use it, all right? So where did the old man go wrong? Well, firstly, his aim was wrong. Most of you grab these things and you go straight up the nose because you think your nostrils go straight up, but they don't. They go up, but they also go back and to the side. And straight up along the septum isn't where you get congested normally. It's normally down here along the sides of the nose where we have these structures called turbinites that can swell and shrink depending on a number of factors. So what you need to do is if you're going for the left nostril, you grab the bottle in the right hand. Now remember, we don't wanna go straight up. There is no congestion up here. The congestion is normally all down the side here. So you can go straight up in the beginning and then pull the tip down. You'll feel it hit a ledge, a hard part and then we wanna twist the bottle and aim over here at our ear, right? Head forward just a little bit. That's what you're going for, that. <laughs> I know it looks strange, but trust me, that's what works. Okay, and then the next tip, whatever you do, don't do a big hard sniff. I see it all the time. People go, all right, not with a nasal decongestion spray because what happens is the spray just gets sucked right down the back and ends up in your throat. We want that spray to hit the lining of our nasal passage, the turbinates, and we want it to stay there for as long as possible because that's where it's gonna work. So if you're doing a big hard sniff, it's not what you want. You just want a gentle inhale, just normal breathing. So you put it in, put it in like so, hit the ridge, twist, shoot for the ear, head forward just a little bit, and then just a, just a normal inhale. That's sort of what you're going for. Give it a squirt, pull the bottle out, and then release the pressure. Now you might recall Dad also did a mighty big sneeze after shooting the spray up his nose, which is quite common. It can trigger that response. And it's not ideal because then all the spray just comes straight back out again. So here's a little tip you can try, which will stop the sneeze. When you feel that urge, you know that, uh, uh, uh. as soon as you feel that urge, grab your finger and jam it right here at the base of your nose up against the top of your teeth. Jam it in really hard, you'll feel a little bit of pain, but that normally stops the sneeze. Now, one final tip for bonus points. If you're all snotty, you've got a lot of mucus going on up there, the spray won't be as effective because the spray will be soaked up by the mucus. Remember, we want that spray to hit the lining of our nasal passage, the turbinites, the cells. That's what we want it to hit. So the best thing you can do in that scenario is do what's called a nasal rinse or a nasal flush and flush out all the snot, all the boogers, all the mucus, get it all out there. And that way, when you shoot that spray straight up to heaven, 
you know it's gonna hit the right spot and be super effective. Here's a quick demo for you. Put a link in the description below. This one just gets incredible ratings. It's really good. Nile Med size rinse, all right? And basically what it is is this. You get this little bottle here. You fill it up with like filtered water, distilled water, whatever you like. Um, and then I normally put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds just to make it lukewarm. And then what you do is, it comes with all these little, little sachets. <laughs> and it's basically just saline, all right? So you, you tip that into the water, put your finger over the nozzle and give it a good shake, like that. And then, come around here, Hayley. This is what you're gonna do. So, you're going to put your head forward like so, and keep your mouth open, but keep breathing. And you're gonna put this up into your nose and squeeze gently until water starts flowing out the opposite nostril. All right, so I'm gonna do it for you now. It's pretty full on. All right, um, okay, let's do it. So head forward, mouth open, keep breathing. And then you just put it in your nose, and then you just Squeeze gently and you'll start to see water coming out. It's pretty gross, but it's pretty funny. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> and now we're going to do the other one. The exact same thing. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, man. Oh. I'll tell you what, excuse me, it's not the most attractive thing I've done ever. Honestly, that is insane. It's, 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 it's incredible. It is literally incredible. Straight away, it's just completely unblocked me there. So, yeah, if you want to check that out, if you're someone who's getting a lot of sinus problems, give it a flush, give it a rinse, rinse it all out. You're gonna feel a hundred times better, I guarantee. Um, it's not a paid promotion or anything, this is just something I want to show you. Alright? So link in the description below, check it out, have a good day, subscribe, do whatever you like, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Anyway, mates, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome New Year's Eve party, and I'll see you again in 2023. Cheers. G'day mates. This video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.